Welcome back folks! For this video, ang isha-share ko sa inyo ay some of my favorite features ng isa sa mga recently ay medyo maganda ang performance na Geely Cool Ray. So this is a comfort variant and you'll be surprised sa dami ng features kahit itong base variant lang. But before we go further, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and help me grow it. Kaya simulan na natin at madami-dami ito. Uh, let's go into the basic settings dito sa infotainment system. Uh, makikita ka agad natin na merong driving mode restriction, uh, touch screen sound, window anti-clip, daytime running light at yung speed sensitive sound adjustment. Simulan natin dito sa driving video restriction. As the name suggests, when driving at certain speeds pa blackout niya video, it's a safety feature para hindi ka mag-distract. Touch uh, screen sound of course, pag pinindot mo, mamamatay yung tunog. And then the speed sensitive volume adjustment is, pag medyo mabilis na yung takbo mo, magko-compensate yung volume para marinig mo pa rin yung sound ng yung radio. And then this is the window anti-clip. It's actually not an alarm. It is a feature wherein yung windows will not fully close when something is obstructing it. For example, meron bata nang naglalaro dun sa windows and then sinasara mo, hindi siya totally magsasara. So in this example, I just use this manuals because I'm using my uh, one hand to film it and the other, the other one to control. No? So kung makikita ninyo, twice titry natin, hindi sumara. Pero on the third try, manually, pwede mo na siyang isara. So that's how intuitive it is. No? So napapansin niya na you're trying to close it kahit medyo may nakaharap. So again, twice mo siyang subukan, talagang ibababa niya yung window. Pero on the third try, manually, kaya mo na siyang isara. And as you can see here, it also works for the passenger windows and kahit yung mga windows on the rear. Galeng, di ba? So I suggest you keep that feature on. Let's now move into the DRS or the daytime running lights. So meron siyang switch, no? Doon sa infotainment system. So as you can see, by default, it is on because that's a safety feature pag tumatakbo ka, mas visible ka from afar, no? So sa mga kasalubong mo. But sometimes, you want it off. Bakit? So, for example, you're parked somewhere na medyo you want to be discreet and hindi ka mapansin that you're uh, just in your car. So, you can turn it off. I'd still count that as a safety feature. So, moving on, let's go to the ESE or the Electronic Stability Control. So, may switch siya wherein pwede mo siyang i-off. Now, for normal people driving their cars na meron feature na yan, it's advisable to just keep it on because it will prevent your wheels from skidding. So, mas komportable at saka safe yung drive mo. Now, why do you want to turn it off? Uh, for a spirited driving, yes, pwede mo siyang i-off para maganda yung takeoff mo at mas mabilis. But again, for normal drivers like me and normal driving conditions, I'd rather na naka-on itong ESC ko. So let's move into another dial here uh, in this part of the instrument cluster. Itong ating uh, instrument cluster lamp brightness adjustment. So uh, magagamit lamang ito syempre pagka naka-on yung ating at least yung park light. So nakikita ninyo walang mangyayari dyan kung naka-off. Uh, but once we turn on yung ating uh, at least the park light or, or the headlights. May kita natin na nag-adjust yung ating brightness. Siyempre, you adjust it to your uh, liking. So, ako, I just keep it at the middle. Hindi ganun kaliwanag. Pero, at the same time, visible siya. At yung uh, last feature in, in this area of the uh, dashboard, yung ating headlamp level. Um, well, you can use it however you like. Just as long as hindi nakakasilaw ng, ng mga kasalubo mo and uh, safe naman yung driving mo. But, uh, as you can see dito sa ating manual, nakalagay din pala. No? So, this is a guide kung ano ang level na gagamitin mo if it's 0, 1, 2, or 3. 0 is pagka yung driver lang ang nakasakay. 1 is kung may driver and uh, front passenger na nakasakay. 2, kapag all seats ay may sakay na and then puno yung trunk. And then lastly, kapag driver lang and the trunk is full. So, ang idea here is, uh, depende kung gaano nakatingala yung sasakyan. That's why you can level down yung headlamps. 
So the more weight dun sa rear part, syempre titingala yung sasakyan. So that you can now level down your headlamps. Now this feature medyo nagulat ako. Not just the defogger because it's a common uh, feature naman sa mga sasakyan. But for the cool ray, hindi lang yung likod na salamin ang umiinit. Even the side mirrors ay umiinit. Surprising lang din because uh, this Geely Cool Ray is the base model, the comfort variant. So how do you activate it? So on the right side, may button dyan. Familiar naman sa, to most of us na yung defogger. But as mentioned, hindi lang yung rear glass ang umiinit because of those lines. So yun yung mga uh, uh, nagpapainit. Uh, what it does is nababawasan yung moisture, nababawasan yung fog and uh, nagbibid yung mga tubig at nagiging mas visible. So, ang tanong, is the passenger mirror also heating up? Yes, it does. So, ang maganda dyan, hindi may ipuna ng tubig or ng moisture itong mga salamin when you're driving in cold or rainy weather. Isa ito sa mga unique features ng Geely Cool Ray. It's just amazing. So let's now move on to another feature. So this one I just observed suddenly. Hindi ko tinakita sa manual. So I just uh, happened to uh, figure this one out. Let's say you're driving at a medyo maulan or maambon. And then you have to back up. So makikita ninyo ngayon that dahil bukas yung wiper ninyo and then nag-reverse ka sasabay ngayon yung wiper mo sa likod kakaiba ba so since you need visibility although you have the camera naman pero some people still prefer to look back dun sa salamin sa likod and there you have it so mas safe ngayon that mas maganda ang visibility mo when you're backing up Well, this feature is pretty obvious. You can't miss this one. I like to highlight this one because I really like it. Uh, aside from gandang tingnan ng ilaw, uh, it's also a safety feature. On to the next feature. Ito yung follow home uh, feature na Geely Cool Ray. Now, dito sa comfort variant, walang settings in the infotainment to adjust kung 30 seconds or 60 seconds siyang mabubuhay. I think naka-default lang siya sa 60 seconds. No? So, how do you activate this one? So, let's say, tapos ka na uh, mag-drive, magpa-park ka na. So, papatayin na na yung engine mo. And then, you're parked somewhere na medyo madilim. O, dapat nakaharap dun sa direction kung saan ka lalang. And then, you just push yung uh, headlight knob forward para ma-activate mo yung ilaw. So, makikita nyo ngayon, buha yung headlamp. It will remain lit for uh, 30 or 60 seconds depende kung uh, ano yung settings mo but, but the comfort variant I think it's lit for 1 minute now you can even lock the doors and the uh, light will still remain nabuhay siya hanggang sa makapunta ka sa pupunta and don't worry mamamatay naman siya ng pusa Uh, this one is another feature that I'm sure most GD Kure owners uh, would be familiar with. So, kahit uh, nakalak yung pintuan mo, you just uh, pull it once, the lever, pull it the second time, and then magbubuksan na. So, kagandahan lang ito, bukas lang yung door kung saan ka lumabas. Uh, and all the other doors, even the gasoline lid is still closed. And that same door will remain unlocked hanggat di ka pumapasok to lock it. Maganda rin sa cool ray, walang accidental auto lock. Now let's move to a feature na medyo, well, some people find it annoying, but ako hindi naman. I just wish ni na mas maliwanag pa sana yung fog lamps para mas useful siya. At night, when you turn the wheel, pakaliwa or pakana, nabubuhay yung directional natin. Lamps, amazing ano. Even if hindi ka pa nagtaturn and just press on the signal lights as you can see here, nabubuhay na yung fog lamps to that direction. 
So let's now move to another safety feature. Itong trunk door opening by a remote, uh, I find it a secure one. Uh, ang kagandahan sa kanya, when you use it, binuksan mo yung trunk mo, naglagay ka ng gamit or may kinuha ka, the doors remain locked. So all four doors, sarado pa rin yan. And then pag sinara mo na ngayon yung trunk, iilaw siya to signify na, okay, nakalock na ulit siya. Similar siya doon sa pagbubukas mo na just one door, uh, hindi ka masasalisi. It's another good safety feature for you. Now, this feature, uh, medyo gimmicky siya, but it's practical. No? Combined with the auto start feature of the car, you can remotely open the window para mapalabas mo yung mainit na hangin. So, in case you're parked in uh, direct sunlight, so pwede mo siya buksan. You can even control kung gaano kalaki yung gap na uh, bubuksan mo sa windows mo. That's uh, pretty neat. And then, to close it, just push the lock button and then sasara na ulit yung windows mo. Okay, so ito na yung final na feature na gusto ko ipakita dito sa video na ito. It's the answer back feature of the car. So, nagpark ka somewhere, hindi mo matandaan kung ano yung exact location. Just push yung button na pinakababa twice. And then, marinig mo na yung busina ng sasakyan ko. So, and then, I also would like to highlight yung ganda ng stock na busina ng Geely Coolway. So, pag thumbs up naman kung nagustuhan mo yung video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel para ma-inspire naman ako na gumawa pa ng mas madaming content. You take care, and I'll see you on the road.